Biwi la Simanzi lilitanda hii leo katika hifadhi ya Maitali. Familia, marafiki na viongozi mbalimbali mbali, wakifika kumomboleza kiongozi ambaye hadi kifo chake alikuwa kihudumu kwa muhula wa pili kama mbunge wa Kitui Maharibi. Familia ya muenda zake kupitia seneta wa Kitui eno kwambua imesema kuwa kifo chake nyenze ilisababishwa na ugonjwa wa saratani ilikuwa kipigana nayo kwa miaka kumi sasa. To avoid any speculation as to the cause of death, the family wants to make it very, very clear that Francis Mwanzia Nyanse had suffered cancer for a long period of time. Wabunge wa kiongozo na mbunge wa kitui ya kati makali mulu wakifika katika jumba la lii kutuwa rambirambi zao kwa familia huku wakitizama mwili wake marehemu kwa mara ya mwisho. We came to say pole to the family and assure the nation that as members of parliament we are indeed very very sorry we are indeed saddened by the passing on of our colleague. Yuhu ni msiba mkubwa kwa familia na ni msiba mkubwa kwetu sisi viongozi na ni msiba mkubwa sana kwa mrengo wetu wa NASA. The 1992 he was among the leaders who really moved to ask for multi-party democracy. He remained a friend and uh, he had friends beyond his party, beyond uh, his community and beyond his region. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta akiongoza taifa kuipa familia pole akimtaja mwenda zake kama kiongozi aliyehudumia taifa katika sehemu mbalimbali. Vinara wanasa Raila Odinga, Kalonzo Msioka, Musalia Mudavadi na Moses Wetangula wote wakituma ujumbe wa pamoja kuifariji familia yake Nyenze wakitaja kifo chake Nyenze kama pigo kubwa katika kambi ya upinzani. Mwendo wa saa unusu bunge liliporejelea vikao vyake vya kila siku. Speaker wa bunge la kitaifa Justin Muturi alitangaza kifo chake Francis Nyenze na kuipa bunge nafasi ya kumuomboleza kabla ya kurejelea vikao vyake vya kawaida. On behalf of all members of the National Assembly and the entire parliamentary, so entire parliamentary service commission and indeed on my own behalf, I wish to take this opportunity to condole with the family of the late brother Honorable Francis Nyanse. That he was a voice of reason at the Public Investment Committee. The way he was a voice of reason in the House Business Committee and I'm sure in the leadership of then the court coalition. He spoke his mind and once overruled by the majority, he followed and supported our coalition to the end and up to in, and including the August 8th general election. Mr. Speaker, we want to pray for the people of Kitui West and we want to assure them God willing, Honorable Makari Mulu will be there to give our brother a decent send off. I ask this house that we pray for that family and the people of uh, Kitui West that God is going to provide another leader. And as a result of him supporting progressive agenda of government, many people started to even accuse him of being a, a moral, Mr. Speaker. Nyumbani kwake katika kaunti ya Kitui, wenyeji walimuomboleza kiongozi wao huku nyumbani kwake Kitui ikisalia kufungwa. Kulingana na familia ya mwenda zake Francis Nyenze, kifo chake kimewajia kwa mshangao mkubwa kwani mwenda zake alianza kuonyesha mabadiliko makubwa katika afya yake kilichosalia sasa ni mipango ya mazishi ya mwenda zake atakayofanyika katika kaunti ya Kitui. Stephen Leto Citizen Pashe, Nairobi.